What's good everyone, you dig, 4 eyes, 2 G's here, and today we're here to talk about a whole lot of red. And I get asked quite frequently by you guys about the album, what I want, my expectations, etc, etc. So I thought why not do a video about it. And I want to stress that obviously, this is just my own individual wish list. I'm not going to say that it has to be like this or the album is going to be bad or anything like that. Just my own personal thoughts on the ideal album. And make sure to tell me what you guys want for the album, for the project, in terms of features, in terms of production, as well in the comments. But let's get into it. And firstly, and I've touched on this in my other videos, and it may be a controversial statement, but I do hope the album isn't completely baby voice Cardi front to back. In this era of Cardi that we've heard through leaks and snippets, what the community has dubbed the quote unquote baby voice has went from a technique that was used sparingly on dialit to something that's much more prevalent. It's hard to quantify exactly what the baby voice is because his voice varies so much, but what I mean by I don't want a whole album of it is. Is, is I don't want his voice or Molly, Kid Cudi or Flatbed Freestyle for example over the whole album. I think if we got 14 straight tracks of that it would not only get tiresome on the ears but it would burn out that sound and make for a one dimensional project. I think his approach to switching up his voice has always worked on both self-titled and dialit. It's just with so much emphasis on his baby voice now, with tracks like Kid Cardi or Flatbed Freestyle becoming so well known, I feel as though the Cardi community has propped up the baby voice to be this godly thing that we always want. But understand, it's only so refreshing and different until it isn't, and it'll get old fast if Cardi does it on every track. And next I want to touch on the leaks and the songs I want to end up landing on the album, and mainly I'm going to touch on the songs that have already leaked, firstly is Cancun, and I mainly want Cancun due to the potential of this song being commercially successful, as we do know the backstory of this song and the hype behind it already, so if it was properly released, there is a chance that we would see it pop off. And other leaked songs I want to see end up on the album potentially are Molly, Asthma, Neon, and R.I.P. Yams. It's been highly rumoured that the leaks we got of these tracks were unfinished versions, as some of them didn't sound fully mixed or even featured open verses on the tracks, and as these tracks are the best leaks in my opinion we've gotten, I wouldn't mind getting fully finished versions of these tracks on the final project. However, quickly, I do want to mention one unreleased snippet, and that is Place. I really hope this snippet ends up on the project because they've been playing it a ton and it sounds really nice. And before we go on guys, a quick shout out from my Instagram. Big shout outs goes to my man Cardi Drip. Shout out goes to him for always showing me love. Appreciate that. If you guys aren't already, do make sure to follow me on Instagram at your dig. Appreciate the love and support over there. And also a reminder about my Playboy Cardi and Travis Scott merch. We have the whole lot of red, we have the Cardi, and we have the Rodeo Tees on deck. Link in the description to cop if you're interested. Also, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, and do make sure to turn on those notifications as well so you guys don't miss a video of mine. All that good YouTube stuff, you know how it goes. But let's move on. And next, a touch on is features. And in terms of features, really anyone featured on Dialit, I would be perfectly fine with, again, on a whole lot of red. But just to keep this part short and succinct, I'm only going to say three names. And I want everyone in the comments below also, only three people you can choose to be on a whole lot of red. Tell me, either producers or rappers, doesn't matter, but it has to be three. Firstly, for me, is Rocky. I think it's super symbolic that Rocky is the only other feature on self-titled aside from Uzi when you consider the impact and role he has played in the career of Cardi. And even more so, the juxtaposition of that feature in the context context of that project I think is underappreciated. And what I mean by that is, is that nowhere else on the project, aside from maybe Magnolia, is Cardi quote unquote trying to rap and really put in effort into punchlines or trying to be a dominant presence on the track. So Rocky coming in with his heavyweight verse with his aggressive flow and witty punchlines, I think is a nice refreshing voice on the album and helps to switch up the pace of the project. And there's no reason to think why another collab of theirs wouldn't be on this same level. Secondly is Lil Uzi Vert. We already know what Uzi and Cardi do together on tracks, so this is a no-brainer for anyone. We know they have a crazy amount of tracks done, and Uzi was on both self-titled and Dialit, so it only makes sense. And lastly is a producing one, Art Dealer. Art Dealer remains a mysterious figure in relation to exactly what he does for Cardi. We do know he offers help in regards to creative direction, like merch and art design, but the specifics of his role aren't really laid out for us in plain sight, rather it's just a bunch of breadcrumbs. However, noticeably he popped up with a production feature on Long Time from Dialit, which may just be a top 10 Cardi song and a top 5 Cardi instrumental. The wave of nostalgia and euphoria that this track gives is special, and Art Dealer is the only 
only credited person for the production. According to Genius, he's only ever produced two other tracks. So I'm super curious as to what his other production would sound like and I would love to hear what else Cardi and him would cook up together. And I feel as though we're gonna get something from the two of them again on a whole lot of red, fingers crossed. And lastly is more in regards to the promotion of the album. I get that this minimalist aesthetic is part of Cardi's charm if you will, but the lack of music videos and push for his singles is baffling to me and in my opinion has held back the potential of his commercial status so far. Why doesn't Shooter, a song with 180 mil streams on Spotify, have a video done for it? Why wasn't it properly released as a single and pushed to radio? Why was there only one video shot for Dilit, a gold certified album? And on top of this, why were no other songs, not even Poke It Out, which featured Nicki Minaj, released as singles and tried to be pushed after the project? All of this just shows a massive mishandling of the project in my opinion, and his label should be investing more money into videos and promotion. So what I want to say with a whole lot of red is more of a budget into these aspects and a real push from Interscope that shows that they recognize Cardi's figure and status within the game and they see him as a potential future flagship artist because what they did for Dial It doesn't show that and quite frankly, stunt to the potential growth of him but that's all from me today guys thanks a lot for watching as i said do make sure to comment below what you want for the project like subscribe make sure to turn on those notifications as well follow me on instagram at your dig and there are more videos of mine on screen right now do make sure to check them out if you haven't